So I, I grew up in a quite small town of uh, 5,000 people. When I was, I guess, 16, I moved here to Helsinki to study audiovisual studies. I started off making commercial films as an editor and then director, and then moved on to also filming. I realized that in my own personal life, I had this dilemma and problem with my own stuff. I realized that I have so much stuff, I don't know what's relevant, I don't kind of need what, what of these, all these items I really need in my life and why I'm at this point in my life. So I just decided to do something and I created the idea of this documentary or personal film that I would do. And I was thinking that maybe this stuff, if I take it to the storage and bring it back one by one, and I will first bring the best and then the second best and then the third best. And that would basically like create a lot. What does my good life or perfect life or something, you know, what are the ingredients in it? First of all, I really didn't think what was going to happen during that year of my experiment. And, and now I can totally realize that it would have not been possible without people close to me. Because in the beginning when I was naked in my apartment, of course, I cannot go out to find some food without a bank card, without mobile phone. Everything was basically impossible. So I kind of like, of course, totally relied on the people around me. I didn't just want to survive. I wanted to kind of live my everyday life as normally as I could. And I, I didn't tell anybody about the experiment that I did. Only my friends and my closest family knew that I did it. When I had like six or seven items, like a jacket, shirt and trousers and shoes, I went to work and nobody knew that I was in this experiment. They was just at some point maybe thinking, okay, he's always wearing the same clothes. People ask me quite a lot about, about things like, okay, what was the mo uh, item that you missed the most and I'm like I don't really know if there was that kind of item that I was really craving for and I kind of realized that it's not just about me getting items it's more like okay what do I now want to do with my life and what items do I need for it there's two things there's kind of my personal project that I did and then there's the kind of filmmaker that did the film and from the film point of view, of course, I can understand that it will be a part of this environmental discussion and also will try to make an impact. I've seen some documentaries that are more focused on environmental issues like Straight On that had had huge impact on me. And after those, I had really difficulties getting on board on an airplane. What I think personally now is how much new stuff do I buy? Because buying stuff, I kind of buy carbon footprint. It doesn't have to be hard. My change wasn't that hard that it seems like it was more playful or adventurous than it was like hard and stupid.